hello everyone welcome to rn tutorials on engineering mechanics so in this video lecture i would like to explain about applications of friction uh, that is related to ladder problems so there are so many applications uh, that we can analyze the friction to so many uh, uh, parts or so many devices but here in this video i would like to explain about the ladder so related to the ladder how can we consider the frictional forces and uh, how can we solve the problems related to the ladder by considering the friction in this video I am going to explain so first I would like to give a definition for a ladder so how can we define a ladder uh, basically it is used for climbing uh, uh, or climbing over the ladder to the walls or rows so based upon the application we can define it a ladder is a device used to climb on roofs or walls okay so to reach the top position of the building or walls we uh, generally use the ladder according to the application whatever we need and uh, here uh, what are the parts it consists of means here ladder consists of two vertical uprights connected with series of cross pieces so these cross pieces again called as rungs so the first i would like to show you a small figure example figures these are the two examples for the ladder so what are the parts it consists means here these are the two columns or vertical uprights called as vertical uprights and these number of pieces are called as rungs which uh, act as a steps to climb over it to reach the top position so these are the parts two parts vertical uprights and the number of cross pieces which are called rungs which act as a steps okay this is the small uh, definition and the parts of the ladder so next we go for analyzing the friction so the assume uh, consider a ladder placed on a wall so as shown in figure consider a ladder this is the ladder which is placed on a wall with the help of the floor on the floor we have placed a uh, ladder so this is the side view so whenever you consider uh, the ladder tends to move in downward direction whenever due to the due to its uh, self weight self weight or uh, any weight is taking place on the ladder uh, the ultimate result is it tries to move downward directionally so assume here the ladder is trying to move downward direction so when it tries to move downward direction automatically the friction acts opposite to the motion of the ladder so here due to the uh, surface condition for the wall we can face the friction in between the ladder and the and the wall so whenever it tries to move downward automatically the friction acts upward direction opposite to the motion of the body in which direction it tends are uh, it trying to move so this is the fw i'm assuming which is the friction in between the wall and the ladder and similarly here also when it is trying to move downward means here this end point the bottom end point of the ladder tries to move away from the wall so when it is moving away from the wall the friction acts opposite to that motion so the friction acts towards the wall like uh, i want to assume it as ff which is the friction in between the floor and the ladder and whenever we face friction a normal reaction acts on the ladder so automatically we have to represent the normal reaction in between the wall and the ladder and similarly normal reaction in between the floor and the ladder so rw and rf we can assume so here uh, even this number of forces are acting there is no motion for the ladder here okay when uh, you stand on the ladder uh, sometimes up to certain limit the ladder can maintain the equilibrium condition so here also assume uh, there is an equilibrium condition for the ladder so for equilibrium condition sum of all the forces should be equal to zero so that condition or that analysis we can apply for the ladder here so all positive directions are uh, positive forces and all negative directions are negative forces we need to consider so first to consider fw which is acting in positive y direction so that is positive only and ff uh, the friction between the floor and the ladder is acting negative x direction so negative sign minus ff and similarly uh, rw or rf rf is acting again here positive y direction so positive only and similarly rw is also acting positive x direction so that is also positive force rw so sum of all these forces should be equal to zero whenever we consider the equilibrium of the forces or equilibrium condition of the body okay so like this we can analyze the frictional forces and the normal reaction acting on the ladder for equilibrium condition we can make sum of all these forces equal to zero
okay this is the general analysis we can do for the ladder related to the friction in between the ladder and the wall and ladder and the floor okay next we go for the example problem how to solve it okay so here i have given one problem so go through the problem a uniform ladder of length 3.25 again uh, i would like to take an example figure this one only so here the ladder is given of length how much 3.25 meters and uh, and weighing 250 newton so i'm assuming ab as a required ladder which is placed on a wall and the length is given as 3.25 so this corner point i am representing here as c okay this uh, why i am representing while solving the problem you understood you understand so here ab of length 3.25 meters and how much the weight weight is 250 newtons exactly uh, from the middle position of the ladder it acts downward direction 250 newtons and it is placed against a smooth vertical wall with its lower end 1.25 meters from the wall so this lower end is at a distance of 1.25 from the wall and this end a a of the ladder is placed over a smooth vertical wall so he, he is particularly mentioning it is a smooth vertical wall means here we have to remember or we have to analyze that there is no friction in between the wall and the ladder okay that is the thing we have to uh, understand here and the distance is given as 1.25 meters from the wall to the lower end and uh, the coefficient of friction between the ladder and floor is 0.3 so this 0.3 is coefficient of friction by using which we can find out the frictional maximum frictional force in between the ladder and the floor here so next what he is asking what is the frictional force acting on the ladder at a point of contact between the ladder and floor so initially we need to find out with this condition with this weight uh, how much the friction is acting in between the ladder and the floor we need to find and next we have to show that show that ladder will remain in equilibrium position so by finding the maximum friction and by the and by knowing the frictional force in between the ladder and the floor we need to confirm that whether it is in equilibrium condition or not okay so this is the problem is given so first initially we consider how the friction is acting so when the load is acting downward direction here automatically the ladder tends to move in downward direction only so then it moves away it tries to move away from the wall so automatically the frictional force acts opposite to the motion that assume it as ff which is the frictional force in between the ladder and the floor and similarly normal reaction acts at the contact point of the ladder assume it is as rf so this is the friction analysis here at point a no friction why because it is a smooth vertical wall there is no friction in between the wall and ladder so no frictional force no reaction force we need to represent so next we go for solving the problem so first we need to assume the system is in equilibrium initially we are assuming the system is in equilibrium after that we try to check whether it is exactly in equilibrium condition or not so now I'll try to assume it is in equilibrium condition next uh, consider vertical forces so what are the vertical forces uh, acting on the ladder we need to consider so according to the equilibrium condition sum of the vertical forces should be equal to zero or, so, or opposite forces can be equal to uh, opposite forces equals becomes equals here so here rf is acting upward direction and the weight of the ladder is acting downward direction so these two can be equal equal because only two vertical forces we can see here and both are acting in opposite direction so according to the equilibrium condition we can write rf is equal to 250 newtons here okay and this is the one value we got and now for, for finding the friction in between the floor and the ladder we need to take the moment uh, with respect to a here so with respect to a point we try to take the moment uh, of all forces so now take the moment of forces uh, about a so again here for equilibrium condition sum of uh, moment of all forces should be equal to zero or uh, clockwise moment should be equal to anti-clockwise moments so try to apply that so here the weight is acting downward direction which tends to rotate the body in clockwise only so we take it as positive so 250 into distance perpendicular distance in between the a and uh, 250 newtons means from wall to the uh, force what is the perpendicular distance means it is half of the 1.25 meters okay it is exactly acting at the midpoint means automatically the distance half of the distance it can maintain in between the wall and the center point of the ladder here so 250 into we can write it as 1.25 by 2 which is the moment of the force 250 newtons that is the moment of weight next similarly we need to consider the 
uh, another force which is causing the clockwise motion only which is the frictional force so this frictional force acting towards the wall means it tends to rotate the body in clockwise only so take the positive so then ff into perpendicular distance so what is the perpendicular distance means this is the direction when you extend this ff line automatically this ac line will be perpendicular to the ff so we have to know ac so in the problem ac is not given perpendicular distance for finding the moment that ac we need to find out in the next step we try to find it so here the moment of frictional force means ff into we have to multiply AC distance perpendicular distance so write it as FF into AC okay so here for understanding purpose I am representing the distance so this is the perpendicular distance which can be equal to AC only here so FF into AC we can write it as so these two causing the clockwise rotation and the remaining RF is causing anti-clockwise so make it as equal to RF into what are the perpendicular distance from A so when you consider A uh, line from vertical line from A so the perpendicular distance to RF becomes 1.25 even if you extend this one the perpendicular distance from A to the RF becomes 1.25 only so that can be equal to we can write it as RF into 1.25 meters okay so that is the uh, clockwise sum of the clockwise movements is equal to sum of anti-clockwise okay only RF is causing the anti-clockwise motion only one force so one moment we have taken so next slide we go to the next slide with the same step so in this equation try to write ff into ac is equal to ff into ac is equal to we can write it as already rf into 1.25 is there rf into 1.25 when you take this to the 250 into 1.25 by 2 to the right side it becomes negative then 250 into 1.25 by 2 so try to modify this rf is 250 in the previous step we got into 1.25 minus 250 into 1.25 by 2 means it becomes into 0.625 so modify this equation by using calci then automatically we get the value as 156.2 newtons then try to write frictional force ff is equal to 156.2 divided by ac so here we need to find out the ac so how can we find the ac this vertical distance means here by considering the pythagoras rule so when it is pythagoras rule we can write the equation so from right angle triangle abc we can write it as ab square this is ab square is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to ac square plus bc square so in that we need in this we need ac square so write it as ac square is equal to bc square minus ab square so we try to go to the next step so bc what is the bc value bc is 1.25 so try to write it as 1.25 whole square minus ab ab is 3.25 so minus 3.25 whole square then uh, modify the equation ac is equal to root over 1.25 square minus 3.25 square so then when you modify this we get the value as 3 meters okay the ac the vertical height uh, when you consider the right angle triangle abc so ac is equal we get the value as 3 meters so then immediately go to the previous step force of friction frictional force ff is equal to 156.2 divided by ac then write it as 156.2 by ac sorry by 3 is equal to we get the value as 52.1 newtons which is the frictional force is taking in taking place in between ladder and the floor okay this is the frictional force is acting so now we need to confirm whether it is in equilibrium condition or not so if the frictional force is sufficient to stop the motion of the body then it could be in equilibrium condition if it is unable to stop the motion of the body again it starts it exceeds the frictional force then it starts moving downward direction so we consider the maximum friction if it is less than maximum friction automatically we can say that this ladder in equilibrium so we try to find the maximum force of friction which is the formula is we know general formula f is equal to mu into rf then mu value is given for the floor and the ladder is 0.3 into rf already we got 250 so when you multiply this automatically we get the value as 75 newtons here so this is the maximum frictional force is taking in between the floor and the ladder so this maximum force is more than the force of friction is taking place according to the weight of the ladder here so 52.1 newtons force of friction is less than the maximum force of friction then automatically the ladder can be in equilibrium condition okay so the last statement is also proved in this problem we require frictional force in between the ladder and the floor and whether it is in equilibrium condition or not we need to confirm so both statements are satisfied 
we have uh, determined the force of friction and we have confirmed that the ladder is in equilibrium condition okay this is the way of calculating uh, forces required uh, frictional forces uh, when it is related to the ladder problem by considering the frictional forces so I hope you understand solving the uh, problem and uh, please share my videos with your friends and uh, subscribe to my videos and once again thanks for watching my video thank you all